Did you ever wanted to create your own online education website like Udemy and Coursera? But then again, doesn't that require a lot of technical skills? Well, the good news is, with the help of Tutor LMS, you can now create your own e-learning platform without any coding. But how do you do that? Well, in this video, we will show you how easy it is to create and publish courses online with Tutor LMS. So, let's begin. Okay, we will uh, install the Tutor LMS plugin. Installing the plugin is really easy. You have to go to their official website. We will provide the link in the description below. In the free basic package, the first package, click the Get Now button to download Tutor LMS. A compressed file will be downloaded. This is the file that you have to upload to your WordPress website. So log into your WordPress dashboard. Click on plugins and select add new. Then click on the upload plugin and choose file. Select the tutor LMS, open and then click install now. The plugin will be installed and then click on activate plugin. And that's basically it. You have tutor LMS free installed now. In this tutorial we will be using some of the pro features of tutor LMS. So it is important to mention or show you how to install Tutor LMS Pro on your website. So after you've installed Tutor LMS Free, go to their website again. We have provided the link in the description below. From here you need to create a Themium account. If you don't have an account, click on the sign in button from over here and then click on the sign up button. From here you have to fill out the form, give your username, email, password and then register. After your registration process is completed, click on pricing and then pick any of the Tutor LMS packages you like. There are three uh, paid packages, agencies, freelancers and individuals. Click on any of the plan that you would like to purchase. For example, we would like to purchase the freelancers package. Click on the buy now button. It will direct you to the checkout page here you need to fill out your billing details and then you have to choose a payment method you can either use your credit card or PayPal after you've chosen this and confirmed your Tutor LMS purchase Tutor LMS Pro will be added to your Themium account while you're signed into Themium site go to your account section and visit the downloads page from there you can download the Tutor LMS Pro. You will have this uh, compressed file of Tutor LMS Pro. This is the file that you have to upload to your WordPress website. To do that, simply log into your WordPress dashboard, select on plugins and click on add new, and then click on the upload button, and then choose file. Select the Tutor Pro compressed file and press open. Now click on the install button to install the Tutor LMS Pro. We already have it installed. Let's check it out. There it is. From here we will activate our plugin. It will be activated and now you have Tutor LMS Pro. A great thing about Tutor LMS Pro is that with one purchase you will have access to all their premium add-ons. Now you can use grade books, quiz import export assignments course attachments certificate and all other good features there you have it you now have tutor lms pro after you have installed and activated tutor lms pro you still need to activate your license to do that log into your themium account and go to your license page from there you will find an add website button beside your tutor lms product Click on that button and provide your website's URL. Then you can get a new license key. Copy this license key and go back to your WordPress dashboard. From there, go to Tutor LMS Pro, License, and then enter your new license key. After you've installed and activated Tutor LMS, you'll see this welcoming screen. Just simply scroll down and hit the Let's Start button to initiate the Setup Wizard. 
In the next screen, you can select a category for your LMS platform. Uh, you can either select individual or marketplace. Select whichever category you like and hit next to proceed with the setup wizard. In the next screen, you can tweak the general settings of your website. Uh, just pick whatever options you like and then hit next. In the next screen, you can select the course settings. And in the next one, you get to select your payment options. If you're happy with it, click on finish setup and you're done. Okay, so now let's create a course. Simply go to Tutorial LMS and select Courses. You can see that there are previously created courses. These are published courses and one of the courses I deleted. You can also publish these courses. This is a great thing about Tutorial LMS. It saves all your data. So if you accidentally trashed it, you can still publish the course. We're going to create a new course. Click on Add New it opens up the course builder. Now here you can create your own course. Let's add a title. Introduction to WordPress Web Development. After that you can give a description to your course description. In the general settings, you can select the maximum number of students who can enroll in this course. You can select any number, but if you want unlimited number of students, you have to select zero. You can also select the difficulty level of your course. We're selecting beginner. You can also make this course public so that students don't have to register in your website to actually take this course. You can also enable or disable the QA forum for this course. Another part is the course prerequisites. This is a, available through a premium add-on. You can select what courses do the students need to complete before they enroll in this particular course. We're going to leave it empty. In the next field, you can select additional data. For example, what will the students learn from this course? We are selecting you will learn WordPress web development from this course. This is just for an example. Moving on, you'll see the target audience. You can also select the course duration, that's how long it will take students to complete your course. Next, you can specify the list of materials that you will be including in this course and also requirements and instructions for the students. Moving on, we came to the main part of the course builder. This is the course builder itself. Using this, you can create the lessons and topics of your course. Click on add new topic and give your topic a name. You can also give the topic summary. Leaving it empty here. So that is how your topic looks. Now let's add a new lesson. You can call it lesson one or you can give it a name. Let's give it a name. Let's call it introduction to WordPress web development. Now you can add a new media here. You can add a, select a featured image. You can also select your video for this course. You can browse your file. You can select how long your video is, 
and upload attachments. You can also enable disable the course preview if you want. Once you're happy with your changes, click on upload lessons. Now that is how your lesson looks uh, from the course builder. You can add multiple topics. We are adding a new topic here. Let's see how it looks with multiple topics added. Now there are multiple topics here. You can uh, see that it's all arranged very beautifully. You can drag and drop the topics and arrange them the way you want. Uh, the entire builder supports drag and drop feature, so you can also drag and drop the lessons as well. Let's add a new quiz to your course. Your course needs quizzes, right? give the title of the question we're calling it question one and then add question write your question here we're just calling it question one and then the next section you can select the quiz category there are a lot of quiz categories to select from we're selecting the true or false let's add a description to your quiz and then select which one is the correct answer. Once you're happy, select Add to Questions. The question will be added. Let's add another question. We're calling it question two, and this time let's select another quiz category. We're going with multiple choice. So at first, you have to describe your question. Let's say, what is a great plugin for SEO? Let's add uh, answer title. This will be one of the multiple choices. You can also add an image to this question. You can also select a format of options. Once you're happy with the changes, click on update answer. Then click on add another option. And that's how you can create a multiple choice question. Now that is how you can add quizzes. You can also drag and drop these things the way you like. And then save and next. In this section, you can tweak the settings of the quiz. You can select the time limit the students will be given to, in order to complete this quiz. You can also select a quiz feedback mode. You can also allow the number of attempts the students are allowed to take. We're giving it two. You can also select the passing grade, the maximum number of questions students are allowed to answer. In the advanced settings, you can tweak the advanced settings of the quiz builder. But we are happy with the changes that we already have. So once you're happy with the changes, click on Save and Next. And there you have it. You now have a question to this topic. You can also add assignments if you'd like. Moving on, you can actually add a video to your course. This will be your course intro video. In the next section, you will be able to select a certificate template for your course. We're going to use this one. And then update. Now let's see how our course looks from the front end. And that is how our course looks from the front end. We're using a default 2022 theme. And so that's it. That's how you can use Tutor LMS to create a complete course. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos like this one. Till then, take care. See you next time.